Hi guys, welcome to Rob Gaming Zone. This is my video in MB 2K14. This game was played by brother. Just I'm doing the commentary only. Now the opponent is having the ball. I think they will have easy go, easy bucket. They have made the bucket. George Hill at the one, Paul George now we have the ball. Now we are, we are going, trying to make it as a basket, and we converted it. Conley is now having the ball. It was fouled. Had so much success against Western teams last year. Now again the ball is with the uh, Allen is having the ball. And it's Paul George. With it's the again foul. That's his first foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Gasol against Hibbert. And the call will be Again, the there's a foul. That's his first foul. And over the last decade or so, it's usually been the Western teams getting the better of the Eastern teams more often than not. But the Pacers able to be the exception because of their defense, as you were talking about. Yeah, if you can defend and rebound, you can beat anyone at any time. Anybody now it is been fouled, so there will be a free throw. Pacers were able to do that last year, 18 and 12 against the West. And now that only trailed Miami as far as the Eastern Conference teams on their success against the West. He hits both from the strike. You know, guys, the Grizzlies. Now we are having the ball. I like their moniker of grit and grind. I think we can make it as a count. I thought that's how they played, and as a result, they had a terrific season. Gets it to go. Beautiful dish down low. It has been basketed. Now here's Gasol. Again, it is Gosal. Now we are trying to defend it. Back to Allen. It has been easily bucketed. Clark, you mentioned the Grizzlies' old-fashioned style of play. There may be some changes in the offing. The new ownership group has made it a focal point to use you know, Steve more advanced stats to inform their decision making analytics. Well, and what will be interesting, Kevin, is that now that is the steal. Stats and advanced stat. <laughs> Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Earlier I spoke with Frank Vogel. On his mind, the difficult task of Now it is fouled by the opponent. He said Randolph's especially tough because he's so not only a go-to score on the low block and the pinch post. We are having the ball now. It is out of bounds. So the ball will back. be handed over to the opponent. Alright, Doris, thanks. Kindly the pass to Allen. The dish to Gasol. Second foul of the first quarter. They're probably gonna have to sit him down here to try to avoid number three. Well, you figure a guy with the size of Gasol is just being sent out there to be physical. And he will be physical, make no mistake about it, but he's a skilled player as well. He's got court vision, patience, as a passer. He can score, he'll find cutting teammates. He's a beautiful player to watch offensively. As beautiful a player as he is to watch with that finesse and the those skills. The two free throws have been easily bucketed. Now we are having the, the is, ball with us. energy away from anybody that is foolish enough to get in his way. I mean, he is a big man. It has been bucketed and we have a throw again. We can make it to a three. That sends Danny Granger to the free throw line. But we could not. The Grizzlies focused on trying to get more bang for their buck in terms of what they were paying guys. And the first shoe to drop was the trade of Rudy Gay. Just didn't want to commit to that big contract. Thought they could do a better job. That's been full throw. That is there are two, three free throws. And for small market teams like the Grizzlies, that is something they have definitely always got to be considering. Are we using our camp space, Steve, to the best of our ability? I think for the most part they were, but they just didn't feel that Rudy Gay was the long-term solution. 
So when the trade opportunity came about, they decided no to free themselves steel. up in the long-term financial commitment and give themselves more options in terms of personnel moving forward. Punches it down with pop. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. Well, they're not backing off at all, are they? Pass to West. Good. The assist wow. goes to That's him. a good bucket. West has got his first two points. And things are going to come way too easy for him if he can get that deep post position. I agree with you, Steve. you got to deny him the ball down there as best you can. And Hill with the block. Now it was a good block. Pacers trail by six. He made a name for himself in the league as being one of the best undersized fours out there, guys. And Louis Scola can go up against somebody who's much taller than him and still find a way to pump fake his way to a hoop. It was a good try, but there was the have gone no points. From the field so far. Prince outside. Gives him the lead pass. Allen, that's good. And Scola Steve at 6'9, not the biggest or most athletic player, certainly on the floor, but he does a good job on the glass. And he seems to be a very solid player. And he plays very physically you know, on defense. You know, he's not afraid to get into you. Uh, probably Again, it has been called by the opponent. More athletic players, but uh, I think Scola is one of the smarter, uh, savvier players we have in this league. Some changes for Memphis. Ed Davis has checked in for Gasol. And it's Pondexter in for Zach Randall. Conley sets a screen for Davis. Back to Conley. Pass to Bayless. Shot clock at six. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Here's Pondexter. And the three ball is good. Pondexter's got his first three points of the game. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If the shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Memphis leading by seven. One of the bright young head coaching stars in the league, Frank Vogel, took over the Pacers on an interim basis three seasons ago and immediately paid dividends. They had a strong finish to that season and his first season in a competitive first round series against Chicago and that success has continued to build and grow and Frank Vogel deserves a lot of the credit. Watson kicks to score and that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. They have no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Passes to Watson. Back to Scola. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. And Coach Vogel, the second youngest coach in the NBA last season, but he'd been working in the NBA for 15 years, Steve, prior to that, prior to becoming a head coach. Yeah, five years as a video coordinator, a couple seasons as an advanced scout, and then eight years on the bench as an assistant. So he's definitely paid his dues and learned a lot on his way up the ladder. And Bayless kicks to Davis. Scola is there. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. And it's Conley penetrating. Six to shoot. Shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Mike Conley, the number four pick back in 2007 out of the Ohio State <laughs> University. He wasn't an instant star in the NBA, but boy, has he continued to improve year in and year out. And Conley has played his entire career with the Memphis Grizzlies, improving alongside the team. I feel like he's uh, going to be an all-star before too long. He's the franchise's all-time leader in assists. Uh, but I think the stability and the faith that the organization has placed in him has helped him mature and helped him develop into where he is right now, which I think is one of the best point guards in the game. I would agree. Pondexter dishes to Davis. Good on the shots. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Let's see how long they can keep it going. This is quite a start. Pacers trail by 10. 
Granger passes to Scope. And the layup's good off the glass. Scope has got six. What a start to this game. The offense is both dominated. Tell you what, feels like a game on the playground. Forget about defense, just keep. into this one that's been very apparent and anytime a team gets a double-digit lead in the first quarter Steve you could be headed for blowout city and a double-digit well not exactly a close game so far but as the second quarter starts here plenty of time for a comeback and a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Grizzlies Woo! guys they're really passing the ball well here in the first half you know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnover. Deflected. Stolen by Michael Conley. Finish off the break. Conley's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Memphis. Conley's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. It was certainly a slow start to the season for the Pacers. Their veteran and leading scorer, Danny Granger, was on the shelf with a knee injury, but somehow this team found its identity around defense and the emergence of some younger players that may serve them well going forward. You get Danny Granger back with the young, emerging talent, this team should contend for a while. And Granger was able to come back for them for a stretch during the regular season, but eventually had to once again miss the rest of the games. But the team had grown to where you know, that probably didn't derail them as it might have, Steve, in the past. Well, the big thing with the Pacers, Kevin, is that they have a lot of depth now across the roster. And with the emergence of Paul George, who kind of took Rangers' spot, uh, they were able to move on pretty well without it. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, Roy Hibbert, a big key for the Pacers' defense. Coach Vogel said, quote, he's the best in the league at earning no calls at the rim. That's where he's grown the most over the last four years. Put the back of your hands on the front of the rim. If you're in the charge circle and not on the ground, you can earn a no call. Kevin, it's all about staying vertical. You don't always have to block a shot to make guys miss. Credit him for continuing to work. Thanks, Doris. Watson kicks to Hibbert. The pass to Watson. Indiana moving the ball around. And it's Granger penetrating. Here's Hibbert. Shot is off. Great D that time from Davis. Memphis leading by 14. Here's Pondexter. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got three assists now in this one. Hibbert inside. Defended by Pondexter. Stevenson kicks to Hibbert. Puts up the baby hook. Misses off the left iron. That's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. And out of Arizona, Jared Bayless, a slashing combo guard. His jump shot is a little streaky. He's really good at attacking off the dribble and drawing foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And Bayless stepping into that reserve role in Memphis last season. It was really a perfect role for him, Kevin. He backed up Mike Conley, but also played alongside Conley as the two guard. Bayless is a combo. He can score, he can handle the ball, make decisions as well, but really kind of found his niche in the league last season. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Hibbert gets the bucket. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. I mean, his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. Allen dishes to Bayless. Randolph, a screen on Hill. And Bayless gets to Allen. Now the feed to Pondexter from outside the arc. And the shot is good. Pondexter's got five points now in the quarter. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Here is Bayless. He's guarded by Hill. And here is Pondexter. 
He's got eight. Six on the shot clock. Allen passes to Randall. And another basket for Memphis. When it rains and pours, another jump shot tickles that twine. Yeah, they've got it flowing right now, guys. They're putting together a nice little run. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. Well, you got to love the season from David West last year, coming off the ACL tear back in 2011. I think he's completely back as far as that injury is concerned. He was so good last year, particularly in the playoffs. And David West Clark, a locker room leader for the Pacers last season, helped lead them all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now there is only two and a half minutes uh, oh left uh, to the end of the real deal final. There's nothing fluffy about what second he quarter of the match. He's so smart and so savvy in how he approaches the game, and they are just cheating the ball and just having an easy go to the basket, ways, particularly defensively. Textbook example. I there think we have to try to, to create offense. Yes. Beautiful transition minimize the steal all as the much as possible. This kind of no time going Again, there's the steal. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game is. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Look at him punish that. At right. least now we have to try to at least get to the basket and right have a side of that jam. bucket. Well, the Pacers wanted to grab the attention of the league with their postseason play. They certainly did that. They marched through the first two rounds. Yeah, finally, we have got two points. In the Knicks and, boy, remember, they were a game away from the NBA Finals. And the Grizzlies leading by 23. And Bayless kicks to Randolph. One thirty left to play in the first half. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Hey guys, well Grizzlies head coach Dave Yeager is all in on advanced stats and that was a big reason that he became their head coach. Fitting in with a new initiative from ownership in the front office. He knows his marching orders. A team that is among the lowest in three-point field goals will, in his words, look to open the floor, spread the floor, and give their bigs more room to work inside. He said, quote, other teams aren't going to have nine dudes in the paint when Zach's trying to back down. But guys, they're still going to play inside out. He said, quote, I like three-pointers, but I love layups and free throws. Well, Doris, it makes sense. They're tough to handle down there, and it opens up things for everyone else. Just four to shoot. Here's Allen. A second chance effort, and Randolph with the layup. Randolph's got six. Well, something special about him, guys. Is now we are into the final minute of the first half. Going hard to the offensive glass, salvaging I think we have to decrease the difference as much as possible. As he is in the low post. Just watch how many times he'll get his man to go for his fake and leave his feet. He gets him up in the air and takes advantage of it. And another basket for Memphis. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. It's back to Hill. Indiana moving the ball away. And David wow, West it is a very good basket. Hill. That's now eight points for David West. Memphis in total control. Now we are under the final 30 seconds of the match. The shot clock and the game clock. Final 30 seconds of the first half. Now there are three two throws. That free throw good from Allen. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've um they made them all taking full advantage at the line. Well, it's a nice job of really making the most of their opportunities. I think we need to make more practice on free throws because. Did that is totally zero percentage in that number of free throws. Left in the first half. Dishes it to Scola. Shoots from the baseline. And the shot falls short this time. Now Pondexter. Eight points for him. Allen dishes to Conlon. He feeds it to Randolph. And stolen by Scola. Now the Pacers move Final on. three seconds. I think we can make a basket. No, we could not make the basket. Terrific job the whistle has been ball blown. The rim. I mean, it's not an easy task. First off, you're asking the score of the first off. Like Thank you, guys.